Hello everyone. My topic of oral presentation is unraveling the fetal circulatory dynamics in the growth ratio of fetuses with emphasis on, emphasis on the renal circulation and the predictive correlations. I am the president of author, my Dr. Mahesh Mundi, with my co-authors and application to the Department of Greater Diagnosis, IGMC, Napur, Maharashtra. Aim is an objective of this study to evolving the patterns of the fetal renal circulation via fetal Doppler in cases of the fetal growth restriction. To investigate the interrelationship and correlation among the Doppler measurements and acquired from the fetal renal Doppler while concretely accessing their kidney sizes and gestational age. As we all know, the uh, growth restricted uh, freedom of fetus is present a considerable clinical challenge marked by the compromised fetal growth and potential adverse outcomes. Understanding the indicate dynamics of the fetal circulation remains critical in the uh, initiating these pregnancies. In cases of in cases of severe, uh, severe cases of the fetal growth restriction, uh, there is a deviation of the normal growth trajectory significantly affects the fetal kidney development and site disrupting the indicate process. We all know the Doppler Ralta zone needs understanding the hemodynamic changes in the fetus, fetal circulation uh, with a study integrates with ultrasound imaging and including the fetal Doppler to evaluate the fetal renal and arterial Doppler in the healthy, healthy and the growth restricted fetuses. The primary focus was to establish the correlation between the fetal ultra, fetal renal Doppler and SS and the fetal growth restriction. And uncovering this uh, correlation can provide insight into the physiological adaptations and impairment in the renal circulation linked to the fetal growth restriction. And this cross-section study has uh, happened uh, happened during the September and around 2022 to November 2023 with women attending in the ANC clinic of the ANC clinic of the uh, OBG department of agency in Apur. We have included the singleton pregnancy between the 20 to 38 weeks of gestation with maternal age uh, in between 19 to 35 years uh, confirm with confirmation of the LMP. By a patient with the exclusion uh, criteria include the multiple pregnancies, uterine anomalies, fetus with congenital anomalies, structural anomalies, and unclear renal margins. The examination will uh, takes place on the Samsung yeah, Samsung R C T Evo machine uh, with transducer uh, of the 3.7 megahertz carolina transducer. And the there are participant in distribution includes the food 40 women, which are divided into the group A and the group B. The group A consists of the fetal growth rate. Uh, restrictions and grouping consist of the, uh, the normal pregnancies. The gestational age determination based on the on the day of the last uh, uh, last menstrual period with further confirmed by the ultrasound scan. The assessment conducted uh, uh, conducted the fetal biometry and color doctor measurements, including measurements such as head circumference, abdominal circumference, femoral length, and estimated birth fetal weight. With uh, Doppler uh, Doppler PA and RI measurements obtained for the critical vessels, including the renal arteries, MC, umbilical arteries, bilateral uterine arteries. The PA calculations were uh, done using the ultrasound equipment built in software. Here we can see the uh, renal Doppler, epitel renal Doppler with the PIRA values and the Doppler waveforms. Here we can see the 2D here now two dimensional uh, uh, renal length and here uh, two dimensional renal sizes uh, where it takes uh, place in sagittal plane. Results uh, results obtained from this study I have uh, have summarized into the data groups of the group A and the group B with the mean standard mean standard mean standard mean standard deviation variance range and, and variance and range. Uh, what we concluded from this study was uh, the mean age group of the group A uh, yeah, approximately is higher, uh, which is 26 years, and the uh, mean uh, age group of the B uh, yeah, patients of the uh, 25 years. Uh, while the gestational age, uh, gestational age, uh, gestational age of the group A is a uh, yeah, how shows varied range between the 32 weeks to 35 weeks while the group B uh, shows the 34 weeks to 35 weeks. The fetal kidney measurements show the um, both uh, showcase the uh, both uh, similar average fetal kidney sizes for both the kidneys. P and RI of the uh, P and RI of the fetal kidney uh, are to phase. Uh, here we uh, measured the major trend uh, where the group A tends to have higher PIR values for the both the fetal arcanial consider to the compared to the group B. And the uh, PI values of the MC and the umbilical artery were found to be relatively higher than in group A than the group B. However, these values remained in the, within the normal percentage limits according to the fetal Barcelona calculator. 
the pi analysis uh, further pi analysis was done and for the both the kidneys the uh, group uh, group uh, for the both the kidneys the main bi of the fetal renal artery in the uh, group a which is uh, uh, which is around 2.5 2.57 when which is higher than the group b uh, stating that uh, there is a statistically significant with p value less than 0 0.001 here the RI value is also uh, calculated and under uh, analysis of the RI values. Here uh, we can see there is no significant difference in the resistance and on demand between the group A and the group B for the both the kidneys despite the slight numerical difference. On the correlation study has uh, done uh, uh, for GA by LMP and the kidney sizes, and there is a strong co co positive correlation in the both the groups noted. As the gestational age increases, there is a simultaneous increase in the size of the kidneys, which indicates the consistent relationship between the gestational age and fetal kidney sizes in both the groups. It implies that uh, the kidney fetal kidney uh, sizes remains unaffected in the cases of the EFGR, with the uh, growth seem to be proportional to the uh, yeah, progression of the gestation. Uh, discussion on uh, the as you know the fetal growth uh, restriction has certain uh, had uh, multiple uh, influence by the multiple factors like the mother of fetus, uh, fetus and the placenta. Uh, we can diagnose the uh, fetal growth restriction on the ultrasound uh, if the fetal weight is less than 10 percentile, it is a small for age in baby, and if it is less than 3 percentile, it is a fetal growth restriction. Uh, it is characterized with the uh, placental insufficiency uh, with leading to the circulatory adaptations. Uh, we had uh, done a study on the fetal linear circulation adaptation. So here, uh, we, the previous study indicates that the radio, uh, reduced renal perfusion linked to the impaired nephrogenesis in FGR, which highlights connection between the ultra-renal circulation and the fetal growth surfaces. The renal artery PI in FGR uh, focuses on the uh, focuses on the PI of the major of the renal blood flow in the fetal growth restricted cases, uh, and uh, there is early manifestation of the ultra renal uh, artery flow resistance before the kidney size changes. Uh, here, uh, here we can identify the, uh, here we can identify the renal perfusion indicated by the um, the increase uh, PI due to the fetal hypoxemia. The, this study findings concludes the strong difference in the renal RTPI values between the normal and the uh, normal and abnormal group, that is group A and group B, with the renal RTPI sensitivity is, they can be used as early diagnostic marker for the uh, compromised fit and renal circulation in EFGR, and it also suggests the potential area intervention and the management strategies. To conclude this study, the comparison between the both the groups and the group A being exhibit higher PI values indicating the higher renal resistance uh, and with a stronger correlation with the renal PI values in the group A. Uh, study strength lies in the detailed fetal and maternal measurements, uh, but uh, limitations uh, lies in the sample size and the data, uh, which cause the data gap for nuance interpretations. The focus we mainly can focus on the renal atypicity uh, PI index, uh, which directly measures the renal blood flow, and uh, early changes in the flow resistance uh, precedes notably in the kidney size differences, which happened in the vitro growth restriction in less stages. The detect uh, it also detects the uh, circulation here, uh, altered circulation, uh, and then the size changes. The shows it shows the significant difference between the normal and the growth restricted fet uh, fetuses. The hence of the significance of the renal artery PI emphasis its role is as an early indicator of the altered renal circulation as it changes before the conventional Doppler markers and the kidney sizes. And stresses the importance of the timely intervention in managing the FGR for the fetal better fetal outcomes. Uh, we can use this as a multi-parametric approach, holds the promise in refining the diagnostic and monitoring strategies. Uh, the future uh, directives uh, can be used uh, to validate and extend this finding and potential for ERD redefining the prenatal assessment practices for the high-risk practices. Here are the references for my study. Thank you.